Hey, hey, Jake J here, and I don't like the Beatles. Not really any of their stuff. Not a fan. So I think it's fair to say that Batman Arkham City is a vertical game that encourages you to explore the vertical in the game. So let's talk about that. Let's discuss verticality in video games. And first, let's get a definition down. This is my definition. I think it's a fair one. Verticality in a game describes the ability to explore the area above or below your current position. Right, so this gives you a few benefits. First, there's more area to explore. So in any given environment, there's also more possibility for game diversity without requiring more assets. And third, you have the ability to introduce more mechanics. So in the case of Batman Arkham City, we're talking about scaling buildings, we're talking about the bat thing. Shit, what's it called? The bat grappling hook. I'm sure there's a bat name for it, but I don't remember what it is. So there's the grappling hook, there's the glide, there's he jumps pretty far. All of those are mechanics that are very useful in exploring the vertical space of Arkham City. So of course there's one downside. You have to actually make all of that stuff. So traditionally, a level designer would make only the stuff that the player was going to interact with. So this was a resources thing. If you don't have to render the backside of a building, why even bother making it? But also it's a time thing. If a level designer doesn't have to make the backside of a building, that's less time that they have to spend on a particular building. And so as a result, verticality doesn't really apply to a lot of games, maybe even most games. But in the case of Batman Arkham City, it absolutely does. So let's talk about verticality as it's used in Batman Assassin's Creed. They use it primarily in three ways. Number one, exploration. Number two, stealth. And number three, as an attack. First, exploration. Staying on the ground is kind of boring. There's not a ton of stuff to do. I mean, you can fight bad guys, and there are doors to go into interiors. That's your primary motivation for being on the ground, but other than that, there's not really a lot of stuff to do. It's also very difficult and potentially impossible to get hurt from a fall. So in a lot of games, you take a dive from the top of the building and you'll get hurt at the very least. Possibly, yeah, possibly die. In the case of Batman Arkham City, that's unlikely. And so you are once again encouraged to hit the rooftops because you might not get hurt from falling anyway. So there's no reason to deter you from flying, gliding, grapple hooking. The ground does have some diversity visually. But overall, the rooftops look way more interesting. There's lights, there's billboards, there's spires and windows to look at. There's just a ton of stuff that's just all enforcing you to stay above ground. And there's another benefit to this. When you're on the rooftops, it's very freeing and very open, and it makes the interiors feel even more claustrophobic. And so you have this dichotomy of going back and forth between interior and outerior, or exterior if you prefer. Makes it cool, whatever. Number two, stealth. Generally speaking, if you're up high, then the enemies can't see you, and it gives you a safer feeling, reinforcing that you should, in fact, be in the rafters, be on the gargoyles, be up above the enemies. So you end up stalking your victims, and that gives you a certain Batman feel, because that's what Batman does. Batman stalks his prey from the shadows, from up above. In some games, when you're talking about stealth, going from place to place, there's a lot of tension. You have to make sure that the enemy can't see you, but the ability to swing from stealth point to stealth point without the enemy seeing you, even though they probably should be able to see you, takes that tension out of the equation, meaning that you're gonna do it often. So it makes you feel more safe, even though in a lot of cases you aren't. Number three, attacks. I think this is the coolest thing that they do with verticality. And I say coolest intentionally because it's maybe not the most practical, but it is pretty cool. You have the ability to quote unquote, get the drop on your enemies and you can surprise them and then your attack is easier to carry out. You can string enemies up on a gargoyle as they pass underneath, meaning that it's a stealthy elimination. You can set a trap, go up into the rafters, and set it off, and no one will ever know that it was you. There's also power generators that you can shoot with the power surge gun that is a trap unto itself. <laughs>
Rocksteady doesn't want this to be a challenging thing. They want flying among the rooftops to be easy because they want you to do it all the time. They don't want you on the ground. They want you to stay off the ground as much as humanly possible and when they force you to go to interiors, they want you to notice that difference because there is a very sizable difference. Controls only require one button. It's only one button. You hold it for running, and then you can scale buildings, you can glide, you can jump, and then everything else is just a modification to using A. So the way that they introduce verticality in Arkham City is actually pretty interesting as well, because they start you on the ground, and as the first few minutes of the game progress, the game tells you about the A button, and you immediately use it to scale up the side of a building, at which point, once you reach the rooftop, you are given the ability of flight. And with your suit, you're not bound anymore. So playing as Batman, playing in this suit, you feel at home in the rafters and on the rooftops. Playing as Batman feels better when you are up and hiding in shadows and sneaking and stalking. And so, as a result, using verticality in Batman Arkham City is Rocksteady's possibly perfect way for mechanics to mimic how Batman functions in any given situation. That said, uh, detective mode, maybe not so much. We'll talk about that in a different episode. All right, that was it. Let me know what you thought down there. Uh, leave any questions, comments, concerns, cat pictures, whatever, down in the comments section there. I've got videos and subscription links, over, or just the one subscription link. Um, but it's over there, over here somewhere, and probably down below, if we're being honest. And uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we will talk soon. Bye.